I've been playing Minecraft now for over five years, and that's a really long time to be playing one game. And while I'm happy with the changes that have been made to Minecraft over the years, I can't help but have my own suggestions. So I've got a bunch of ideas which I would love to see in game. Having said that, I know that none of these will actually make it into the game, it's nice just to voice an opinion every now and again. So I want to know if you agree with my changes or disagree with my changes and what you feel. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So I've got quite a lot of ideas to show you and get your opinion on, but this one is the one we're going to start with first. Now, every builder knows that slabs and stairs are your bread and butter tools when you're building, especially for getting those finer details, but at the moment you can only place slabs down like so. So I propose that you can place them sideways, much like this. And that would allow us as builders to create way more detail. Now, I'm not sure how this would necessarily work, whether it, a one block fits all, or you're able to make a literal vertical block and they're separate from the horizontal ones. But you can see, I'm able to make something here that I wouldn't have been able to make with normal blocks and have the amount of detail that I've got. The potential is massive for something like this. So I'll go over and show you a few designs that I've got and what I sort of have in mind here. So you can place them like so, and you could even have offset blocks. So you could connect two slabs, like you can now, to make a wall that otherwise would have had to be two blocks thick. So there's a lot to say about this, and I'm not even scratching the surface on what would be possible. For example, there is just a simple gutter, and over here just demonstrates how many different angles we could get away with when placing these slabs across to each other. I understand the if you had these sideways slabs, that people may only use slabs to make walls and their houses and stuff, but I'm not sure that that's true. I'm pretty sure that people would still use full blocks just for convenience, but the people like myself who are into making builds and very intricate details on their houses would jump at the opportunity. I think there's a very stark difference in the type of person that would utilise this change. I honestly thought that this would happen, but it hasn't happened in all of the years of Minecraft, so I sincerely doubt that it will happen but it's one of the things I would love to see. Now my next suggestion is actually a retexture of an existing block. I want to take the current bricks and turn them into mixed bricks, rename them and retexture them to look like this. They are crafted in exactly the same way, two by two, made of bricks, and that gives you what we have there. And here's an example of what you might build using it and what it would look like. I don't see many people using actual bricks because the block itself is not particularly attractive, so I thought to make it a little more authentic looking. And here's also an example of how you could use the sideways slabs on a build to decorate it a little further, this is kind of a two-in-one deal, so that you can get a bit of context for both of them. But the mixed brick is just an excellent idea to try and repurpose a block that I feel is heavily underused. And you could further this by turning them into aged brick. So you take your mixed brick and you put them in a 2x2 two two crafting and you will get aged brick. Now the texture is actually very simple, but again this is just a little more authentic than the current red brick block. So you may not be able to tell that big of a difference, but in the situation where if you're like building a town or something, you will generally see the difference between the two. Maybe they need a little bit of altering. These are all just very basic suggestions. Now this one is a radically different type of brick. This is Cotswold brick. It is made of limestone, and limestone is one of the blocks I want to talk about later as a suggestion, and that's what this slab is here. So my suggestion is we take limestone bricks and put that in a 2x2 two two, and that will craft Cotswold stone or bricks. Now this is an entirely new block suggestion but it fills a gap in what I feel is a sincere lack of brick kind of blocks in this style. Now the Cotswold is a lovely shade of yellow much like real life and the bricks themselves are different sizes again mirroring what it's like in real life. I think it's a really nice addition to the palettes that we have available. My next suggestion is very, very self-explanatory. You can probably work it out just by looking at them here. 
My idea is to turn any redstone lamp into the colour of your choice by adding any sort of dye around it in the crafting table. As you can see here on the right, you put cactus green around the brown lamp, for example, and it turns it into a green coloured redstone lamp. But that's not the only thing, it's not just about colouring the block for the sake of colouring it. If I make it night to prove my point, and turn this redstone lamp on, the idea is it will give off the different coloured light that your redstone lamp is. So I've got the blue one here, and it gives off a blue coloured light. I feel like you could create so much ambience just by having the ability to add different coloured lights to whatever project you're working on. It's a very, very simple change, but probably hard to implement, and I'm not suggesting that any of these ideas will be implemented at all. So next up, it's a little bit complicated. These suggestions are all about new kinds of blocks and how they would change in the generation. So we'll go over the original blocks a bit later on, but I first want to talk to you about retexturing some of the ones that already exist and how we could expand on them. So I want to start with Andesite. Now it's not a particularly good looking block as it stands. It's very hard to integrate this. However, we suggest that you retexture the andesite to look a little more like this. It's very similar to stone and there is a reason which I will go over later. And then you have the cobblestone, stone brick and the polished versions of it. It has a very similar style to stone but that is intentional and it should become clear later on. And the house there is just an example of how it all meshes together. Next is granite. Now this block is particularly ugly, more so than andesite, but we recommend perhaps it could be retextured like so and again have the cobblestone, stone brick and polished counterparts to match. It's got a lovely salmon colour and I feel like it could be used a lot more than it currently is. At the moment when I see granite I just think this is a pain. It's not really used for building but as you can see it can match jungle wood if you had more availability like I'm suggesting here. Next up is of course Diorite. Again, it's a very similar story, retexture it to make it look a little easier on the eyes and then add all of the other options along with it. This is a good white block, perhaps an alternative to quartz or maybe it could be worked in with quartz. And there's another white based block later on as well, but as you can see the house looks fairly good, all of these blocks mash together very very well. And my final suggestion for the retexturing of vanilla blocks is an edit to sandstone. Now we've got our three vanilla variants, but I recommend that we could have something like this with sandstone on all of those sides. You can actually get that by editing some block values, but that's by the by, I'm talking vanilla Minecraft. And then we've got all of our extra variants and as well. Now if we take a look at the sandstone house at the back, it looks a bit more solid than what we would be able to create with the vanilla blocks. It all just blends together really well, like all of these examples. And the fact that there's a little bit of consistency between all of these colours is really paramount in this suggestion. But let's go and take a look at some of the original blocks that I would love to see added to the game. The first one is one that we saw a little bit of earlier. This is limestone and what it looks like with the texture. This is probably my favourite block out of all of them and I want all the counterparts and along with the sandstone, the diorite and everything else, I think that they should have a slab and staircase counterpart so that we have more variation of the same blocks. We do have a little lack of staircases because things like andesite and diorite don't have that availability. I think limestone would be a great, great addition. Next up is marble. Now this is what I feel quartz should look like. Very imperial, very connected. Everything looks really polished and clean and posh and expensive. The house itself looks very clean almost. It wouldn't go out of place in a bathroom. This block could be used in a lot of different ways. There aren't a lot of white blocks that are like this. Quartz is probably the closest thing, but I don't actually want to change quartz because it's got its own thing going on. I like marble, I think it would be a great addition. And the final suggestion is basalt. This does look a lot like coal block, but the idea is to have all the variants as well. You can't really have a cobblestone variant of coal block because that would just be coal. 
but we have a severe lack of black blocks. We have bedrock, we have coal blocks, we have black wool, but none of those are really satisfactory for building with. This would offer the black alternative that I've really been hoping for in Minecraft. It's got a really nice feel about it, and I think basalt could be the way forward there. So those are the original block suggestions that I'd love to see in the game. But there's something more that I want to suggest. And it's not just adding these into the game, but integrating them into the generation. And I'm joined by Botbox, who was kind enough to do all of the texturing for me because I'm no good at art. But he also suggested that the blocks could be biome specific. So for this example, marble could spawn in under snow. Now, obviously that doesn't make too much sense, but when has Minecraft made a whole heap of sense? But the idea is to encourage people to explore different biomes to acquire different resources. Now, it does look a bit odd because there are no ores, but there's no reason why there can't be coal integrated into the limestone in this example here. Every ore would be available through that way, much like modded Minecraft does a similar thing. And in this instant, we've got Diorite in a birch biome, just because of the matching colours, I think it actually looks really good. It's not something to be scoffed at particularly, and I think it also adds a layer of variation that I find that the Minecraft generation kind of lacks. And with Diorite and Andesite and Granite and all that kind of stuff, it looks really messy in the normal generation. And in Andesite here, this one looks a lot like stone. As I said earlier, this was intentional so that, you know, perhaps people would go exploring for the Andesite over the stone, as stone is so readily available in pretty much every biome. So those were my ideas for this video. I've got so many more, but have to choose my battles carefully and choose ones that fit the most in Minecraft. I want to give a big, Big thank you to Botbox who did all of the texturing for this video. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to make it. So we had our original blocks, the retextured ones, the different colored redstone lamps, and then we briefly went over some of the different kinds of brick as I felt that there wasn't enough of them. This video was just my opinion as always, but I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about my choices. Do you agree with them? I probably expect most of you will disagree, but most importantly, what do you think about this one? Having sideways slabs. Now, I know Notch never wanted this. He actually explicitly said he didn't want it, but Notch no longer owns the game. Maybe it's time to consider giving it a go, see if it works. You can see on those houses how they could be used very effectively. Anyway, those are just some ideas. If you want me to show more of my ideas that I'd love to see in-game, let me know in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching, goodbye.